All right, Shalom. Shalom, Brother Yahushai. Salakia. Is this recording? Work to Yahweh, work to Yahweh Shai. Call Allah Yimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rachaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. So, Brother Isar, you here with the Pittsburgh GMS camp. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rachaha Kodash. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And this is, uh, I just got a few precepts. It's something I just want to say, you know, um, you know, there's just a lot of videos been going out of this, you know, these different scoffers, okay, different guys that are saying these different things and coming up with these different doctrines. And, um, you know, I had got a response from the one guy and he made a few videos about me, which, you know, it is what it is. That's a part of the, of the territory, you know, but, you know, I didn't even really want to take the time to argue back and forth with the dude. I'm going to get this precept, you know, because... You know, he's been corrected on so many different levels. And, you know, I'm seeing that he's just not he's not going to listen. So it's kind of a waste of time at this point. OK, now we're going to continue to, you know, uh, go through the spirit. You know, if El the elder and I just and different brothers make more videos. But I decided not to go back and forth with this guy, you know, and I'll explain a little too. Let's, let's get this right. Uh, he. get this right Titus 3 3 and 10 says a man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject okay and uh you know I did two videos on the same on the same topic and you know the guy didn't listen to it okay and uh the elders did videos and stuff so he, he he's a uh, he, he's rejected at this point okay I think there's more let me see knowing that uh, verse 11 says knowing that he that is such is subverted and sin is being condemned of himself. Okay? So, you know, we've corrected this guy. You know, he's made different statements. But, you know, if he was listening to the videos, and I know that he would have understood it if the Lord would have allowed him to. But, you know, the guy's not trying to listen. Okay? But uh, nevertheless, you know, what I noticed, what I noticed it was a lost cause was when uh, he did a response video to a video that I made that before I even knew about this guy. Okay? So like you. I'm doing a video. So like you. But anyway. Um, so nevertheless, um, the guy uh, was, was speaking, you know, and, and I said to myself, he couldn't have listened to the video, you know, and at this point, he's just coming up with reasons to not be OK. Corrected. Let's get this. You know, these scriptures have been coming out back and forth. Now, I want to read this in a G, the CEBA, the CEBA Bible. This is Sirach 32, starting at verse 17, right? It says, sinful people turn away from correction. They will look for a judgment that suits them. Okay, let me go. A well-advised person won't overlook an intelligent thought. The stranger and the arrogant won't cower out of fear. Okay. So, you know, someone that is wise will not overlook if if a thought makes sense of what brothers is saying. You know, there was a statement I made, okay, I said, and it happened to me, you know, just on a personal testimony, okay, when I was uh, in Georgia, I had a long ponytail, and, you know, big linebacker back as I am walking down the street. I didn't have on no girly clothes. I had on some, you know, some baggy clothes, some shorts and whatnot, and I was walking to the store, and uh, this guy... And now he could have been drunk. I don't know what was going on, but he mistook me for a female. This was back when I had a long ponytail. You know, now when I turned around, of course, I had a full beard. So he he was, like, oh, shit, my bad, you know. But the point was, is that when he saw me from behind, okay, and I had my long hair, he mistook me for a girl. And and that's what Paul is saying, okay? That's all that Paul is saying. You know, and the guy, you know, came and made a video and was like, oh, if you, if you want me, you know, and uh, with my long hair and you think I'm a girl... Then you must be, uh, you know, you must be uh, a mo. And I'm just saying, like, bro, you didn't listen to the video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is that somebody in certain scenarios can mistake you for a girl. And from behind with your long hair, no one's going to see your beard. Okay. 
They're going to see your hair and they're going to they could they could mistake you for a woman. And then you got, you know, in, in here in Babylon, the great. OK, what's that word? Babal means confusion. OK, and this is the place of confusion. OK, the scriptures even say the most high mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And of course, uh, uh, Egypt. Let me get that. Right. So this is the place of confusion. OK. Right. Isaiah 19 and 14 says, Yahweh have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggers in his vomit. OK, so there's OK, there's there's all there's all type of confusion here. You know, you got a lot of women, you know, you got a woman, you have a woman with body, you know, that'll have body, you know, but she'll hide it under baggy clothes because she wants to be, you know, she wants to do, you know, a uh, uh, same same kind of relations. OK, but turns out you, you if you if you <laughs> turns out if you, you get her out those clothes, you'll see that she's actually got, you know, a uh, uh, nice body parts. OK, so you already got that confusion going around. You got men, you know, dressing themselves up in a manner that's, you know, not according to uh, what we're nor what we're used to, what we've been used to for a long time. OK, and so, you you know, there's already confusion here for for us to not contribute to it more. OK, but rather than hear it out and hear the sound counsel, OK, he'd rather scoff. OK, and make videos. So I'm not going to go back and forth with this guy. There's times where you will and there's times where you won't. And that's depicted in the scriptures. You know, <clears throat> there's there's one. There's two. There's two of them. Let's get it. Shall I get it? Type that in wrong. Proverbs 26. OK. And four says, answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. OK, and let's see. I know there's the other one. Verse five says, answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. So there's a balance there. OK, now when it, when it says answer not a fool according to his folly. Lest thou also be like unto him. Basically, you don't want to stoop to his level. You don't want to get into this back and forth. Uh, you know, uh name calling, you know, and things like that. Now, you know, we're all uh, in the flesh. So, you know, brothers end up getting into an ad hominem situation, you know, a little bit here and there. It is what it is. But the point is, you know, that we were commanded not to by our apostles. But also, okay, it can get a little bit, you know, we don't want to be authors. The most high is not the author confusion. So if we got a guy that's just sitting up there just, yeah, you niggas is done and just, you know, just throwing out, you know, different things or he's not being reproved. There's a time where it's just like, nah, you know, okay, now now to give it balance, when you read verse 5, answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. So we will correct you according to the doctrine, okay, in a, in a, in a very uh, humble manner. Matter of fact, there's a precept, okay, I wasn't planning on getting these, but you know, I didn't have that many, just had like three, okay, but we're going to get this one right. Uh, let's see, uh, how can I put it? It's, uh, uh, okay, less per adventure God will grant them repentance. All right. Second Timothy 2, one of my favorite scriptures. Okay, Second Timothy 2. 24. I've been reading the scripture for bringing this out for a long time. It says, and the servant of Yahweh must not be must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach and patient. So you know sometimes we can struggle with this because you know it's hard to keep your patience sometimes, right? It says in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If the Most High, so we have to you know operate in meekness, okay? And so you know a lot of times we'll come and we'll you know very meekly and humbly present the situation that's going on. <clears throat> you know, sometimes we get a little fiery and we still, you know, rebuke you. But the scriptures say open rebuke is better than secret love. OK, so sometimes that love, you know, get a little tough. But the point is, we're not coming at you from a standpoint of like we're holier than thou. It's coming at you from the standpoint of come on, bro. Like you got to snap out of it, bro. Sometimes men need a little foot up the ass uh, 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 energy. OK, to get them off of the bullshit. All right. It says if, if the most high prayer adventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. So, you know. As, as the elder Manatee Zakba brought out in his uh, live stream, 
it was a beautiful stream, you know, but it basically, you know, he brought out how a brother offended is harder to win than a strong city, right? So we're not, you know, I have no, in particular, I'm not in the business of just coming out and offending you. <clears throat> I would rather you take heed to the, to the, uh, to the, the lesson that's being taught, all right, and, and repent rather than to just get on there and just, you know, completely, uh, you know, just, you know, belittle you and shit. That ain't what it's all about. It's all about you being reproved and being corrected, okay? And sometimes it hurts. Sometimes the most high, you know, it has to come out a certain way. You know, you just got to, you know, us being men, okay, we have to have a certain thickness of skin when certain things happen and not be all offended and emotional, all right? But as you see, okay, verse 26, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. You see? So sometimes, it's, you know, so we try to come at you like that, but, you know, everybody doesn't go that way. So, you know, I uh, read that one, you know, and I just got these two. Um, Proverbs 29 and 1 says, he that being often reproved hardeneth his neck shall be suddenly destroyed and that without remedy. And that's all we were warning you of, is that if you don't be reproved, you know, the Lord's going to suddenly destroy you, okay? But these guys aren't taking heed to the sound advice of the elders and the brothers, you know, and the truth, man. <clears throat> Second Timothy 4 and 1 says, I charge thee therefore before the Most High, and before the Lord, Yehabashai HaMashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and in his kingdom, okay, in his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, rebuke, Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Okay, this is what we're commanded to do. Okay, we reprove people, we rebuke you. Okay, and we exhort you with the long suffering and with doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, and that's the truth. I mean, you know, obviously, due to the responses that the dude made to me and that he's making to the brother, okay, he's not listening to the scriptures, you know. And, and this is just the one dude, you know, with the gold teeth and the dreads. You know, I don't even know, I can't remember his name, I don't know who he is. My first video about hair wasn't even about him, but, you know, he was convicted, okay? And he decided to go on and, re, you know, you, you God made a video about me. And, you know, actually, the video wasn't about you, but, I mean, if you got convicted, then that was through the Spirit, and maybe you should take heed, okay? But, as, it just, as we just read, verse 3, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, okay? Verse 4, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. And this is what he's doing. He's taking the scriptures and twisting them and saying, look, this is a justification of me having these Shiva Jatas in my head. This is a justification for me to walk around, you know, looking crazy. No, bro. Okay. That's, that's not what it is. Okay. But, you know, we already see that. Certain people are just seared with a hot iron and they're just going to do what they want to do. And that's cool, man. If you want your contention to be all about hair, and it's got to be a deeper reason. You just don't want to listen, okay? But we're not in those times, man. You know, what kind of sparked me to do this lesson was Elder Yashawama was, you know, lesson that he did, you know, and just basically, like he was saying, we're only a few days in. We're only, you know, quote-unquote 12 days into the quote-unquote new year and things is already happening. And I feel it through the spirit. You know, there's a lot of tension right now in the spirit, man. We can, I can feel it. I don't know about others, okay? But the Most High is doing a lot of sifting. He's doing, he, things are getting tighter. <clears throat> we don't have the time to be arguing about hair, you know, and, you know, vain, vanity, okay? And things that do not pertain unto salvation, man. All right? You got people, you know, which I haven't even really been looped in as much, but you got people arguing about who's King David and just... Come on, dog. You know, if we none of us was around, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, to say yay or nay concerning King Masha being uh, King David, you know, but we just believe the report for belief's sake. You know, there's certain things that you don't understand. You know, matter of fact, this is sound advice right here that brothers should take. Cause we got we got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. We got more things to worry about. Okay, okay. Ecclesiastes three and twenty one says, "Seek not out things that are too hard for thee, neither search the things that are above thy strength." Okay. Now, I wish I could read this full. Yeah. What was that? What's that? Uh, I forgot the name number. Yeah, 
Yeah, verse 23. Oh, no, 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 let's continue. Verse 22. But what is commanded thee, think thereupon with reverence. For it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. All right, so we need to rather focus on the things that are commanded us. Doing our three videos plus a week, you know, uh, you know, uh, hopefully we can do more. It's all through the spirit. <clears throat> okay. And just getting, you know, just being in unison as much as possible. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, you know, and uh, just, yeah, trying to trying to do the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh that we might be saved, man. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are showed unto thee than men understand. You know, this is, we're in a privileged position, okay, that, that things that people don't even get, you know, basic things. Well, you can't speak to, you can't speak to people out in the world, okay, about the things that we know, you know, right? Because you have by Shem Yahweh have not um, uh, intended this knowledge for everybody, okay? So let's not get focused on, you know, stuff that doesn't have anything, you know, that they won't make or break us, okay? Because Satan tries to play on those different things to cause contentions, okay? Technicalities and things of that nature, man, that shit, that shit can get you real fucked up, okay? <coughs> Verse 24 says, For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Right, okay. Verse 25, without eyes. You know, you got, you know, there was a lot of comments coming out, you know, whenever different videos was coming out. When I made the hair video, you know, then you got people come out and saying, you must be going bald because you're talking about her so much. You must be a bald ass nigga. The first thing people thought in their mind was, you just hating because you can't grow long hair. No, bro. Your evil suspicion is, is clouding your judgment, bro. I don't have a problem growing hair. I have no problem growing hair, but I choose not to. Okay, because I took heed to what the elder apostle said about having certain length hair and being in GMS. And you still have scoffers to this day hopping on and saying what? Well, y'all can we all still got people with hair and braids and stuff and y'all kept. So y'all can't say nothing. Y'all being hypocrites. And that's why the apostle said what he said. He's like, how can we get on people about having long hair and people still got long hair in GMS? And he's completely 100 percent true. That's true. Because <clears throat> that's how it looked. People going to say, man, you better, you got to get on this guy before you get on me. So, you know, it's neither here nor there. Um, verse 25 says, without eyes, thou shalt want light. Profess not the knowledge, therefore, that thou hast not right. So, you know, when the Lord take away the eyes to see, you're going to miss, you know, that light that you had. You're going to miss being able to see the light. Okay, the scripture say he didn't have eyes to see, you know, and ears to hear, you know, but. You have by Shem Yahweh Shai can take away that that uh those goggles, okay, those truth goggles, and you won't have eyes to see anymore. And we don't want to be in that, okay? Verse 26 says, A stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last, and he that loveth danger shall perish therein. An obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows, and the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. In the punishment of the proud there is no remedy, for the plant of wickedness have taken root in him. Okay? <clears throat> Verse 29 says, the heart of the prudent will understand a parable and an intentive ear is the desire of a wise man. So, you know, we're seeing that it's not fair and well for people who wants to be obstinate, who wants to be, which means basically, you know, not having respect unto the proper, you know, proper until authorities. OK, you know, talking crap. OK, and those being stubborn in heart means stubborn in mind. You know, we're, so we see what the end of them there is. And basically he the heart of his neck. Okay, he that being reproved, uh, often reproved, hardened of his neck shall be suddenly destroyed, and that without remedy. Okay, so we don't want to be fit for that. We want mercy. We need mercy. <clears throat> the sure, tender mercies of David in these times to come, man. And so we're trying the best to fight this flesh. All right, to stay in the proper order. So that you how about me? I wish I look upon us favorably, man. You know. You know, I can feel the tension through the spirit, man. It's, you know, the Lord's the Lord's getting to trying to get us in order, man. And those that fight against it, you know, you maybe not take it for granted. All right, because shit's about to get real fucked up out here. Excuse my language, but that's where we headed, man. <clears throat> about to get real straight. Jacob's trouble. But anyway, Lord willing, that was edified, man. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? By Hashem Rechahakodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole fleet. Like, with that, I want to say Shalom, my Baba Ball, Shalom.